From Confusion to Conclusion How to Write a First Class Essay by Vlad Makevic. This e course is presented to you in association with thelectureroom.co.uk and firstyearcounts.com. Enjoy listening. Welcome to part 5 of our e course on essay writing. We're still discussing essay titles, how to break them down, how to analyze them, and how to answer the essay question. In the last part we discussed the object, the context and the method and we are still continuing to search for those in the next example. Let's look at this example. What were the reasons for the economic miracle of South Korea in the second half of the 20th century? This question is much more straightforward than the other two. The object is quite obvious, it's the economic development of South Korea. The context is also quite obvious, it's a very defined time frame, the second half of the 20th century, you're not going into the 21st, you're not going back into the 19th, you stick into this time frame. And the method, what were the reasons for the economic miracle of South Korea? Now the word reasons is a bit unusual as well. When you're talking about reasons, it's a good idea to group them somehow. But you can't group reasons into two opposing categories. So you have to create those oppositions artificially. And one of the best places to start, I'm not claiming this to be universal, but this is in my subjective experience, one of the best places to start is dividing the reasons into, in into internal and external. You have different levels. Individual level, organization, society, country, a society of states, an international organization, a global economy, a local economy, there are many levels. But in all levels you can find some internal processes that led to certain changes or developments and external circumstances that shaped those changes. So that's a place to start. There are other action words, for example like compare and contrast, find similarities and differences, talking about advantages and disadvantages, outlining, which means describing the main features, or enumerating like listing something. There are some other things you need to remember. It's a good idea to always define the object of your study, show your understanding of the key terms, and sometimes also define the context. Why do you need to do this? It is a means of safeguarding yourself. When you say, this is my definition of the concept, these are my arguments that are in line with this definition. This way, your lecturer might disagree with your definition, they might disagree with your arguments, but if your definition and arguments correspond to one another perfectly, they have to mark you based on how logical you are inside your essay, which means even if your lecturer disagrees with your point of view, if your point of view is argued well, you will get marks, you will get good marks. For being logical, for being coherent, for being consistent within your essay, and for it all sticking together, flowing nicely. So this is it. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next video, which is part 6. This course was presented to you in association with thelectureroom.co.uk and firstyearcounts.com. Please feel free to check out our websites. Also, feel free to like our Facebook pages facebook.com slash the lecture room one for the lecture room and facebook.com slash first dot year dot counts for first year counts dot com.